Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. This week we're talking about the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is a concept that not many people can understand and quite honestly not many Christians can understand it. They just know that it's true. And that's the point because if we think that we can start to understand God and grasp God in his entirety, then that's not God at all. Because our little brains can't fully perceive God in all of his glory. So we know about the Holy Trinity because Jesus describes many different situations in the Bible. Many Bible verses speak about Jesus speaking of himself as as God. So we know that Jesus and the Father are one because of scripture. And we also know that Jesus was born of a virgin and he had no biological human father and he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary by the Holy Spirit and became man. So we know that Jesus Christ's father is God and is the spirit of God. So we have God the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So we have a love, we have the beloved, and we have the love that they share. I love this explanation of the Trinity uh, about about the love that, that the Father and the Son share with one another. And when they look at each other, they exhale and that breath that they both exhale is the Holy Spirit. It's the love that they share with one another. Uh, Father Robert Barron, he's the bishop for the Los Angeles Diocese, uh, had just a, a very influential way of explaining the Holy Trinity that I've never heard before. And so I just thought that I would share it with all of you. Uh, there's lots of other ways to describe the Trinity. St. Patrick actually evangelized most of Ireland by using a three-leaf clover. So he would, people couldn't understand the Trinity, which is still difficult for many Christians to fully grasp it, but we have a basic idea of what the Trinity is and that the, the Holy Trinity is God. Three divine persons in one being. So P St. Patrick used to pull up, uh, three leaf clovers from the ground when he would be out evangelizing in Ireland and he would show them this, this is a clover one clover with three leaves the leaves are separate but the clover is one just like the Holy Trinity three individual persons one being and so we can't separate them uh, we know that Christ speaks as, speaks of himself as the divine person and we know that scripture and the prophets tell us that unto us a son will be born and his name will be mighty counselor, everlasting father. So we have some scripture to support this. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For unto a child, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. John chapter 20, verse 28. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord, my God. Acts 20, 28. Take heed to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you, guardians to feed the church of the Lord, which he obtained with his own blood. God purchased us with his own blood. And Jesus died on the cross. Revelation 1, 1, 5 through 6. And Revelations chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of, of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by blood and made us a kingdom of of priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Jesus' blood purchased us. And the verse before that said, God purchased us with his own blood. John chapter 14, verses 9 through 11. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me? Philip, he who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? So Jesus is saying that he and his Father are one. We also know from the verse 
when Jesus goes into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights and fasts. And when he comes out of the desert, he's tempted by the devil. After one of the temptations of the devil, Jesus' response to the devil is this. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Who is the devil tempting at that time? He's tempting Jesus. And Jesus is telling him that he shall not tempt the Lord his God. So I wanted to make this video on the Holy Trinity to help explain to people that Christ is God because he told us that he is. He also not only just said that he is, he backed it up by performing tons of miracles, casting out demons, raising people that have been from the dead that have been that have died for uh, several days. And he was brutally murdered and killed on a cross. And in three days, he rose from the dead again. Nobody has power over life and death except for God himself. So God the Father and Jesus are one, united by the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Thanks for watching The Upper Room. I'm Jared. I'll see you again next week.